Have you ever experienced bogging or hesitations when trying to accelerate with your Phytech EFI system? Today we're gonna to show you how to adjust the Excel pumps on Phytech's Tech Tuesday. All Phytech EFI systems come with a handheld tuner. This tuner not only allows you to do the initial setup, but also allows you to tune, view parameters, and check for fault codes. Today we're going to discuss how to do tuning of bogging and hesitations. This is under the section Tuning on the handheld. Under the Tuning section, you'll find Excel Pump. Excel Pump is what we use to give more or less fuel to the engine when you're trying to accelerate. Now, the Excel Pump is broken down into two key categories. It's Excel Pump and Fast Excel. These two sections adjust in two different manners. The Excel Pump uses a load, so the map reading or vacuum, to see if the engine's under load to give more fuel. The other one is Fast Excel. Fast Excel uses throttle change from the throttle position sensor to give more fuel when you're trying to step on the gas. These values start at zero when starting off with our base calibration file. If you increase the number, more fuel will be injected into the engine. If you decrease the number, less fuel will be injected. A good rule of thumb is to adjust the values in increments of 10 at a time. This will allow you to close into a proper setting. From there, you could work with smaller numbers to perfect the setting. Now, Excel and Fast Excel are broken down into three temperature ranges. 20 degrees, 65 degrees, and 170 degrees. These temperatures are the temperature of the engine in which the system's looking at how much fuel to give. So on a cold engine, you may want to give a certain amount of fuel. On a hot engine, you're going to want to give a different amount. For demonstration purposes, let's take the settings down to negative 20 degrees on Excel pump and fast Excel pump at 170 degrees. This will make the system inject a small amount of fuel when we hit the throttle. Not only will you hear the hesitation, but if we watch the air fuel ratio, it will go severely lean. This is an indicator that the system needs more fuel on the Excel and fast Excel settings. Now let's increase the values to 15 on both the Excel pump and fast Excel to see how the engine revs. If we watch the air fuel ratio now, we can see that the air fuel ratio stays close to the target AFR. The target AFR is what the system wants the AFR to be for the engine at a given RPM and load. If the engine's still going a little bit lean on acceleration, you can increase the Excel pump and fast Excel settings a little bit more, but be careful. Going too far with these settings will cause a rich misfire. A rich misfire is when you put too much fuel into the cylinder and the combustion does not happen. This puts raw air and fuel into the exhaust where the O2 sensor is. The O2 sensor reads the oxygen and reads lean. If you found that you've increased the Excel pump and fast Excel settings to a high level and you haven't seen any improvement on your acceleration, you may consider looking into other scenarios. Possible issues can reside in the fault code section of the handheld. You may see something like a TPS code. That means that the throttle position isn't reading and the system doesn't know you're stepping on the gas. Another possibility is that you'll have RPM noise, so the system doesn't know the RPM of the engine. If there's no faults in the handheld, start looking at the fuel delivery system. Put a fuel pressure gauge just before the EFI system and give a quick rev to the engine. If fuel pressure drops at all, the issue is only going to get more severe when the vehicle's under an actual load. Possible reasons for this fuel pressure drop can include a clogged filter, kink in the fuel lines, or even a cavitating fuel pump. One last tip for the people using a force fuel delivery system, like in our 72C10 here. The force fuel systems have a fuel pressure gauge built directly on top and also come with a post filter that go in between the force fuel and the EFI system. If this fuel filter clogs, the fuel pressure gauge is gonna read the same if you rev the engine regardless of if it's clogged or not. So if you're suspecting the fuel filter is clogged, either just clean it 
or install a fuel pressure gauge just after it to do the rev check. So there you have it. With a little bit of tuning in the handheld under the Excel pump section, you can achieve crisp throttle response with your Phytech EFI system. If you're interested in more Phytech Tech Tuesdays, click over here. If you have questions, comment down below.